Number 133 in the imprint range is Julius Caesar, based on William Shakespeare's uh, fantastic play. Let's just get things out in the open straight away. The 50s version is by far the best in my eyes. It's just what it is. Going into this one, I was a little bit worried. The reviews are horrid for this. It is definitely a dog pile of people just jumping on this one. And that really surprised me because I didn't check the reviews until after I had seen um, the movie, which I really enjoyed. And I do think that there is uh, certain moments in this fantastic tale which recounts uh, the moments leading up to the assassination of Julius Caesar and the battle between the two factions that split up after this. We've got the city rebels that killed Caesar and the other group led by Mark Anthony. Beware the Ides of March. And this one. And uh, it's pretty fantastic. I love the lavish production designs that we have here. I love some of the performances. I do think that there are some issues and some people aren't fantastic. Jason Robards particularly, I think, struggles a little bit in amongst the rest of the actors. I do lack some of that quick spirit. Charlton Heston gives a good performance, but yet he feels a little bit too old to be playing Mark Anthony. And it's just a tale showing up the Ides of March, uh, the death of Caesar and the ramifications afterwards. And there are some key scenes that really I loved that just highlighted this movie for me. There is one where Caesar's wife has a nightmare about the impending doom that is coming his way. And it's so wonderfully visceral. It's so wonderfully constructed for a cinematic medium. Uh, lots of uh, different tactics uh, used to create a really terrifying nightmare structure that I just, you know, it really does grab a hold of you and you sit up and pay attention. The murder itself is particularly well staged. Um, it's shocking, it's brutal, it's horrifying, and it's what it should be because it's the crux of the story here. And another sequence that I just utterly adored was the funeral sequence of Caesar. As we have a couple of people, Brutus first, telling his tale and then commemorating Caesar, uh, trying to undercut Mark Anthony, uh, who goes on and does what can only be described as an absolutely outstanding delivery of a wonderful speech. Put your hands! And I do like Heston in the role. Like I said, I just think he's a little bit too old uh, for this one. But his uh, undercurrent of agreeing to the deal that he made with the assassins, of not blaming them, but yet still managing to do it in a wonderful way of... Um, constantly complimenting them is just wonderfully delivered, shot, staged, everything about it. And I feel like even though it's based on a play, it has a grandiose feel about it, pretty much down to the production standards that are all the way around this movie. And you have a wonderful cast of characters to populate these terrific sets. It's, yes, it's mostly done on a sound stage. But they create the most with the stone stages that they have and they really do have this lavish kind of uh, look about them that I really enjoyed. Of course, Shakespeare's not for everyone. Julius Caesar, I think, is a fantastic play. I think the, the people here do a wonderful job. Looking at the reviews, I don't see anything as bad as that. Um, I do ultimately prefer the 50s version. I think it's, it's just a better all round in my eyes but this one is still worth checking out i enjoyed sitting down and watching caesar i enjoyed most of the performances some of the set pieces are just fantastic and i would say yeah pretty great i'm looking forward to going on uh, and maybe checking out some of the new features and the commentary on this one julius caesar i enjoyed a lot a lot more uh, fun uh, and well made than I think a lot of the reviews on Letterboxd would lead you to believe uh, was one of those ones that you know if it's for you I think you'll like it if you're not particularly uh, interested in Shakespeare or this moment in history you might not be the best movie for you I liked it I'd love to know your thoughts let me know in the comment box below your 
uh, thoughts on Julius Caesar and maybe down there hit the like button because that would really help there's more content up here if you would like to see more of my stuff that would be amazing and of course in the description box is a link to the Patreon and the membership program where you can check out and help support my channel further thank you for watching see you next time on Man V Film